Hello and good afternoon all. Uh, today I just learned some uh, something interesting about all solar system, something brand new. And I think uh, people should always be trying to learn stuff new about our solar system. That I didn't know Mars had a moon and that its name is Phobius. And the reason why I learned this is that we're sending a lander, a rover there, real soon. But before I get to that, can you all do me a little favor and hit the like button and subscribe. And if you really want to bug somebody or the news, please hit the, um, please share my video with them. On to the story. Rover that will expose Mars moon phobias starts landing test. The first rover to explore the moon of another planet has started practicing for its landing, even though that historical touchdown is at least six years away. Uh, yeah, it's going to take, I think it takes almost a year to get to Mars. The 55-pound robot is part of a Japanese aerospace exploration agency, JAX, J-A-X-A, Martian Moon Explor Exploration Mission, MMX, which is scheduled to launch in 2024 and arrive at the planet the following year. In late 2026 or early 2027, the MMX rover, which is designed by a German-French team, will descend to the surface of the 14-mile-wide, 22-kilometer Phobius, the larger of Mars two moons, the smaller one, Deimos, it's just 8 miles or 13 miles, 13 kilometers across. The four-wheeled robot will do so in a free fall from an estimate height of 130 feet to 330 feet. A dramatic drop that the mission team members have begun simulating at the German Aerospace Center landing and mobility test facilities in Bremen. Under laboratory conditions, we dropped the preliminary model of the MX, MMX rover from a height of 5 centimeters, 2 inches, onto a changeable surface of various angles. Test manager Michael Lang from DLR Institutes of Composite Structure and Adaptive Systems said in a statement, DLR is German's acronym for the German Aerospace Center. In this way, since Phobius has only one, only approximately two thousandths of Earth's gravity in its surface, we can s simulate the intensity of the impact for the rover structure. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why it was so far, uh, if it was going from 130 feet to only a couple inches. Now, that makes a little bit more sense. The impact could hit the MMX over in pretty much any orientation that may include a collision with a jutting rock mission team members stretch, so the changeable surface is worth getting a workout. The exact location of the landing on the surface of Phobius is a matter of chance, and we are using these analysts to prepare for various possible scenarios. Michael Wassmann from the DLL Institute of Space Systems said in a statement. Yeah, this is very interesting. Uh, and it actually makes kind of sense. If you can test it and get it done, uh, where we can land on these uh, moons that we know that orbit and stuff was now, we have to, and I say, I say about 30, 40, 50 years, if we have to, we can land a, uh, a ship onto uh, an asteroid or a comet that's heading our way and try to deflect it. Are you excited about this news? I am. And uh, what do you guys think about it? Please let me know down below. And if you made it this far, please hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, be good, have fun, stay safe. Bye-bye.